So first I want to start by saying Kalalal Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rakakadash, the bonus to the apostles and the of James Fitness Stone. Father Shanti, I came out the person is shooting sincere to the full lek. Shalom. This is Brother Kanan from James Jamaica. Here with another lesson. I'm gonna to try to make this real one quick, um, Largeville. And this is basically gonna be centered around wisdom. Um, because that the persons of the wrong concept or understanding of what wisdom is, and you know, most time they use a person that speaks excellent or a person that uh, is uh, um, able to articulate, articulate himself in a, especially with the English language, you know, uh, you think you're wise or you're a smart person. I'm not saying that you're totally dumb or whatever, but wisdom um, is not just that, you know what I mean? Because that's why a lot of persons are deceived even by their politicians because the politicians come out and they speak, you know, smooth or they speak clean standard English say because you idolize a so called white man yeah, and he's no representing the, the white man language in, in certain aspect you're you no looking to that person as a person of wisdom or a wise person but if you were to critique the 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 actions or the uh, you know I mean the the way of life of that person you realize that they're not wise. You know and I mean and again if you even to go to the to the basic um, level of wisdom the fear of the Lord is the big enough wisdom, and if you don't fear the Lord, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, you know what I mean, Yahweh is the Heavenly Father's name, and Yahweh Shai the Son's name, the man you're ignorant and call Jesus, then you are you have no wisdom. And the Bible says, I'm going to get these scriptures also, that the knowledge of wickedness is not wisdom. So a person that have knowledge to do things, a man can have the knowledge to, to create a, a, a thermonuclear bomb, like the so-called white man did, he was given that knowledge to do so, but he's not wise. You know what I mean? He's not wise in the sense that he don't fear the Lord. And the Bible still call him, and let me just put it like this way, because he's wise to do evil. You know what I mean? But to for what pertains to, to life and to sustain life, you're 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 a fool. This is why the so-called white man is still a fool, even though so much things is being done. Because whatever he's he's doing is anti life. You know what I mean? He's not in in um according in it's not in um in it's not sync with the with the flow of the heavenly father to bring forth life let me just play some some videos now there's an individual um that basically a person is basically identifying as a wise person that he was misguided because you know this person was speaking in a manner i'm gonna play the video you know what i mean so without further ado let me just jump into it you know what i mean Last year, I was going home, and upon entering my community, I saw a group of boys sitting in the corner. So I decided to stop my reason with them, which I do from time to time. There was one particular young man, I listened to him speak. He was so articulate and intelligent. He was like a cut above the rest of them. I was so impressed by his mastery of the English language and his knowledge base. Uh, bear in mind, you know, he's saying that this person is a cut above the rest of the individuals that were speaking and you're going to hear other individuals in the video that I'm going to play next telling that this individual that he's dunce, you know what I mean? Meaning he's not smart, he's a fool for those who are not familiar with the term, you know what I mean? So this person was amused by the person speaking but not looking, listening to what the person was saying that it was stupidity. Oh, this person could have been, yeah, could have been guided to something better. Yes, we understand that, you know what I mean? But if you look at the mind frame and the mindset, you'd have seen that this person is literally being a dunce. Well, let's continue. Like I took out my phone and recorded him speaking. Now that young man was one of them, was the guy who was killed yesterday gas station where it is. After breaking into the gas station, police came and killed him. I am going to upload the videos of this young man talking. A young man with great potential, but was just misguided and misled and derailed. And we're not saying that persons don't have great potential, but whatever is reaching them. And I mean, we're not saying that because we are the Israelites. And that's for you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You are the true sons and daughters of Yahweh Hashem in Shai. So of course we are we have potential. We are the south of the earth. We are the creators of the uh, of, of the earth. We are the creators of the things that are of the earth. 
You know what I mean? So, of course, you're going to find us doing wonderful things. But again, we are now tricked in false hope, deceived by the leaders of this world. You know what I mean? And again, uh, we are now forced, are being driven to do to our own people based on these mindsets and, and um, standards that we've basically looked at as as um, as um, as goals you know and I mean our achievements that you want to reach you know you no know, thinking about arming your, your fellow brothers that are basically still um, in the captivity um, serving their their, their, their their time you know and I mean as slaves and civil servants slaves same thing you know and I mean now without further ado well, let's go into the next video all right, so here we go. First thing, done said. All right, let me play back. Pull it back. All right, sorry, let's pull it back. All right, so you're see here. You're saying that these persons are done said. Why you can't look like guns and make it so work? Every work, and you do seven days a week, and let's chat. You know why? You know, my answer yeah. is, you know why? Because I'm above them. I am suppressed them. Because I have seven subjects, I also have physics under my belt. Pride. First thing that stands out there, pride. You're above them, so you're not going to work for them. All right, let's put it this way. The nation of Israel is above all nations. You Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans predominantly, you're above all nations on the earth. Once you descend from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the 12 tribe of Israel, you are above all people. The Bible tells you that. God chose you as a special people to himself. And that God is Yahweh. Right? He is. Alright? So we are blessed above um, other people, but we are under a curse at this time. Why am I saying blessed and cursed? Because there's a time and place for everything. We disobey the Heavenly Father's laws, which is wisdom, and we, you know what I mean, basically turn our back against Him. And we're being punished just like any father would punish his child, our children. You know what I mean? So that's what is taking place to the people of the, of the nation of Israel at this time. Which is why we are what? Slaves now. Civil servants. You are being a slave to who? The so-called white man. We are above them. As a matter of fact, white man is the basement of the earth. According to the Bible. You know what I mean? Meaning, he's at the lowest. Alright? But yet still we are working for them. This, this man, again, that you see on the screen, that is, they are professing to be wise. Was maybe in a shootout. Or uh, whatever. So the part that he took was the part of destruction. He's not taking the part where he's going to attack the so -called. I'm not um, professing or teaching anyone to do so, but I'm showing you. They are not going to attack the, the, the Andrew Olness. They are not going to attack um, Christopher Tufton. They are not going to go above these men also and attack the, the men that are basically having these men as puppets. That's the Rockefellers, the Rockchilds, the, 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 the shadow government. They are not going to attack these men that are controlling the world and telling you how to live. You know what I mean? Because their mind is not, you're not going to say, oh, I'm above these men, so you, you, whatever. You no, know, you're not going to say you're above your own brothers. That's, that's pride, yo. Alright? And let's continue. Right, so you're not going to get dirt, but you you are willing to rob someone. I'm not saying that you individual on the screen is, but persons that's how a person think. You're not willing to get yourself dirty, but you're willing to rob a man that will get got himself dirty by going to a construction site. Or going to a construction site and extracting the same site. You know what I mean? This these things are yo. Our people are evil, yo. Right? Let me just read this real quick. This is an Ecclesiasticus based on the Apocrypha. Real quick. You know what I mean? Um, this is Ecclesiasticus um, 7 and verse 15. It says, Eat not laborious work, neither husbandry, which the most are ordained. So you must not eat work, yo. You know what I mean? Most of, a lot of persons, Israel was a great nation. Israel developed to become a great nation. You now for them start off as what? Far, doing farming. You know what I mean? They, they were involved in farming and they became a great nation. Some people just want to take per, a person um, um, money. Now I'm not saying that the system is designed to, to uplift you because again it's a, it's, a, it's a false dream that they're giving you. you know? But until you understand that you're going to always caught up in their trap because they want you to be like this. 
You know what I mean? And even the person that are going to work and working, you're still a part of the chat because you think that you can do and achieve something. But this system is not designed for you and not designed for you to achieve anything more than scrums. All right? Unless you have no ambition, really, or you have not great ambitions. So let's, let's continue. Right, so again, don't say, you know what I mean? No, you have your qualifications to do, to do certain jobs, but where well, you're going to itch up. I know it's difficult for persons, if you're from a certain environment, to get um, opportunities because they already class you um, by where you're coming from. And I've experienced that also, you know what I mean? I was in Spanish town and I placed that on a resume once. And based on the fact that I was from Spanish town, the person asked me if I'm involved in gangs just because I'm from there. I, well, I was there because I'm not from Spanish town. You know what I mean? So I could easily um, attest to what he's saying with that. You know what I mean? But then again, it doesn't give you the right to go and rob your own persons because are your own people that are striving to for better, that are in the same scenarios like you. You know what I mean? That is evil. All right? So we understand the city. We are in slavery. We understand that. You know what I mean? And then again, we're not supposed to be slaves, but we are in a time period where we are slaves, so we are facing the punishment all right let's um um this is um proverbs 1 and verse 7 i'm going to get into to the words excellent as speech and all of that because this is what is flattering pair persons are. and even if you're not even that great in speech once you know, you know already have a potential in you know, for real you know what i mean once you're, you're not seeing what the person is the person is telling that he's not willing to work i'm not time for nobody i reject him or like that that's what the person is saying you know what I mean? Well, a lot of persons go through this getting rejected on open, over and over before they get to work. It's just slavery. We are just a part of that. And if you don't know yourself, you're already lost. You don't know that you're an Israelite, you're lost. You don't know that you're the sons and daughters of Yahweh, Yahweh, you're lost. So how are you wise if you don't even know yourself? You don't know your, your head from your foot. You know what I mean? Let's continue. This is um, Proverbs 1 and verse 7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction so the fear of the Lord is what starting up knowledge again a person can be wise uh, to do evil which is not real wisdom so again you're creating a, a, um, um, the, the, the missiles are creating thermonuclear destruction um, missiles um, that doesn't mean that you don't have wisdom to create it but you're doing something that is destructive you know what I mean so you're using wisdom for destruction I'm gonna get that not the knowledge of wickedness is not knowledge all right we're gonna get that but let's continue let's jump to verse 8 so fear and love at times can be synonymous you know what i mean fear and love you can love someone and fear them and you can fear someone and love them all right and that's the way it is with the most side you know what i mean because fear in the Lord is big enough knowledge and when you fear the Lord, you're going to follow his instruction. And following the instruction of the Heavenly Father is keeping the laws and statutes of the Bible. Which means if you're keeping the laws and statutes of the Bible, you love the Heavenly Father. And if you do otherwise, you hate him. And the Lord tells you that. Let's, go, let's read verse 10. Proverbs 1 and verse 10. My son, if sinners entice thee, consent thou not. Don't follow them. If they say, come with us, let us lay wait for blood. Let us lurk privily for the innocent without a cause. You know what I mean? You have to take a person's life without a cause. Or your cause for doing it is because your, your bad mind or your envy or your jealous. Oh, that person have this and me don't have it. These are not, these are not cause for taking someone, someone's life. Killing is a natural part of living. You know what I mean? But you have just killing and you have unjust killing. Because there is a duality to life. There is negative and positive. 
life and death. You know what I mean? If a person, there are cause for killing, or reasons for killing, that's why it says without a cause. Yeah, there's reason, which if you do that, that is called, if you kill someone without a cause, or for an unjust cause, it is called murder. You know what I mean? No, we're not professing for anyone to go out there and to take anyone's life because again, there's a time frame for everything. We're all sinners and we're under grace and we're not here to, to be executioner at this time. But very soon it's going to change to that. You know what I mean? So it says, if they say, come with us, let us lay wait for blood. Let us learn privily for the innocent without a cause. Let us swallow them so alive as the, as the grave and, and whole as though that go down into the pit. We shall find a precious substance. We shall find our houses with spoil. Right? So, that's the Bible is telling you not to follow or entice, be enticed with persons like these. Because it says up, up top, what fools despise wisdom. Again, if you went to men like these and tell them about the Bible, they're going to think that they're so smart. They don't want to hear what you're saying. Oh, I'm going to write the Bible or whatever. You know what I mean? Because they're not into, um, into the, to wisdom. They're not wise. You know what I mean? They're not chosen. And again, the wisdom is person to receive wisdom you have to be chosen again i said i want to make the video small but this is already 60 minutes so let's play some more fully done seven subject and fully done and that's for most person a lot of persons in society today some don't even have none but fully done their reasonability is fully done okay. Right, you teach the laws of momentum and jealous. You're wise. You are not the them not jealous. I'm saying everybody is, is, is dumb or full or not aware of the or fear the most side. You know what I mean? Aware don't make mistakes or get it in, or get wrong, wrongfully judged at times. Because again, Joseph was placed in prison. You know what I mean? But it was for a reason. You know what I mean? Not saying that Joseph was was too stupid. Joseph was a wise man. Alright? So we're not saying that once you're in prison you're stupid or whatever. You know what I mean? But pride again, not even humble. Oh, if my teacher, so me the most wise. You're not listening to what the person is saying to you. All right, let's continue. Read up every encyclopedia there is in Lord and Right. Vocabulary. Just like I tell you, the politician come out and instead of him simplify things up for the for the for the mass to understand what he's saying, that he's saying bullshit, he uses big words to, to deceive you. Oh, you said that so that this the pun man word. You know, say man bright and John is a bright bright man because he use instead of could I say one simple word is them use something big that simplifying the thing for the population, which shows you that they're not for the population because majority of all this don't know the shit they must say. Alright? So this is Proverbs, um, not Proverbs, so Ecclesiasticus um, 19 and verse 22. I'm going to read the 24 also because there's a little more meat going down. All right, our food for thought. All right, so this is Proverbs 20, 19 and 22. The year is a week. Wisdom Ecclesiasticus, so like, yeah, in Apocrypha. The knowledge of weakness is not wisdom, neither at any time the counsel of sinners. Prudence. This is not a prudent counsel. One book of sinners. All right. And I said that we're not sinners also. But the most I gave us the um is um is called members at this time wisdom. So whenever you see the, the prophets in the eyes and ages gathered together, you're gonna hear wisdom because we're gonna speak the Bible. Alright? It says let's continue. Um, there's a wickedness and there is a wickedness and the same an abomination. And there's a fool wanting in wisdom. This is a person that needs wisdom, needs to be guided because you don't have wisdom. All right, he that had small understanding, he that had small understanding and fear at Yahweh, this is a key thing again, which is the beginning of knowledge. Fear at Yahweh is better than the one that had much wisdom and transgressed the law of the Most High. Because what is the transgression? Are the wages of sin? Death. You want to take your brother's life, you want to um, do something that is against the law, and even the Father, you're going to die. Maybe not now, but very soon. Eventually, it's going to lead to death. So you're not smart. You're not doing things to preserve, preserve your life. Don't say everybody, yes, we're all sinners, so whatever, you know what I mean? But that's how things work. You go against 
the devil in the father's law, you're going to be punished. All right, let me just get to the worst um, speaky, spooky thing that these men have. You know, I mean, again, I'm just trying to wrap this up real quick. So let's get to it real quick. All right. So this is um, 1 Corinthians 2 and verse 1. I was going to read through. All right, I'm going to jump about. This is 1 Corinthians uh, 2, verse 1. And I, Bridging, this is Paul, a man that wrote uh, um, well, a lot of the, the books in the New Testament, have heavy books, you know, I mean, the most I show them visions and all these things, you know, wisdom and all that. It's telling you this. And I, Bridging, when I came to you, came not with excellency of speech or of wisdom, declaring unto you the testimony of Yahweh. So, that's why persons look at us different because oh, we speak uh, rugged or yo, your, 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 your grammar might not be 100% correct. Uh, Let me tell you this, the English language is one of the most effeminate language out there. It feels messed up to even speak it or try to speak standard English. You know what I mean? However, we try to do it at times for edification purposes. Alright? Let's continue. It says, you never, you didn't came to you with excellency of speech, of the big word. Alright, let's continue. For I determined not to know anything among you, save Yahweh Shai and him crucified. So that's how Paul wants to know. Paul wants to hear about, uh, about what he said about, about in teaching a prison. You know I'm mean? not saying that these things are not um, um, necessary. Right? But it's not really necessary if you get what I'm saying. It's not necessary for salvation. Alright, let's continue. Verse 4. Let's jump to verse 4. And my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom. Oh, look where man put them murder together. I can tell a person that will chill with, 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 with speech. I better them call polite. Living fool. But we chill with, 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 uh, with, with um, semantics and, um, and pretty words. That's polite. You know what I mean? Let's continue. Alright. But in demonstration of the spirit and of power, right? Uh, let's continue. That your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of Yahweh. Albeit we speak wisdom among them that are perfect, yet not the wisdom of this world. We're not speaking wisdom of this world, nor of the princes of the world that come that come to naught. But we speak the wisdom of Yahweh in a mystery, even the hidden wisdom which Yahweh ordained before the world unto the, our glory which none of the princes of this world knew, for had they known it, they would not have crucified the Lord, the Lord of glory. And that's the same reason why you people are going to hate us, because you don't know what we are preaching. It's a mystery to you. It sounds rude and madness, but it's actually real wisdom, because what we fear the Heavenly Father, so we go out in the house and they just um, week in, week out. We try to do videos as much as we can to edify the elect, the sheep, because we are ardent to do so. Because we fear and love Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. And we're not telling you foolish. We're edifying our people. And I mean, we're telling you first that you are the sons. You know what it means to be a son of the Heavenly Father? It means you are gods. You are above men. Regular men. Not everyone is, ab is above men. Are, are gods. But the, the, the house of Israel is. Israel. He is the prince of God. You know what I mean? He is the prince of God. That's what it means. You are a son of God. So I'm going to wrap this up because, again, we've already gone a lot of menacing. So I hope someone was edified and you stop looking at life the way how we were deceived to look at life and how to judge people by knowledge based on what our person speak. No, get wisdom, you know, get understanding and forget it not. All right, so I'm going to wrap up. Again, all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, which was in Hebrew, Kalalal Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Kodash. Again, double honors to the apostles and elders of Jimmy Street, Mr. Stone, and to out there. Shalom.